I think um, too many Americans are not engaged. And I think this is um, a real, real problem uh, for the future, which is uh, even as in 2008, which was one of the most dramatic, probably, you know, campaign seasons of all time, the reality is a very large percentage of Americans who could have voted didn't vote. They didn't register, right? Um, they didn't come out to vote. And so there is something very seriously wrong with our democracy. Um, you know, I, I'm willing to trade voter ID for having elections on Sundays. You know, the rest of the world gives you an opportunity to vote. We make it really, really hard. And um, yes, not enough people are watching the conventions, not enough people are paying attention to politics. I think that there's something deeper that has, you know, you talk about structural issues. Um, one of them is how do we revive our democracy? I take it a little differently than Maria and simply say we're having a $2 billion food fight. And without a doubt, that's what's turning voters off. It is all the negative ads, both sides, it's all the super PACs, it's everything that's going on. It is not bringing people into the election, it is essentially turning people off. If you were in Cleveland, Ohio, between April 15th and August 5th, you were seeing on average every day 176 spots, day in, day out. And all of them are going negative. And it, uh, yeah, yep, go ahead. It's the content. If Coke and Pepsi spend a billion dollars accusing each other of, of being poison, who would drink any kind of soft drink after that was over? Yeah. I mean, you know, that, that is very much part of the problem. Uh,